we're about to make a classic dish that you've had in an Indian restaurant before. I'm talking about chicken tikka masala. And you know what? There are a lot of companies that sell a blend for the spice that you need to make this dish, but we're not doing it because this is a real cooking show. We are blending our own spices like a painter using primary colors to create secondary and tertiary colors, except if paint were flavor. This dish is delicious and warming from the inside. I know you're gonna love it. Let's make it. Life can be a struggle, but a good meal doesn't have to be. We can make creative, nutritious, and inventive dishes that won't break the bank. Welcome to Struggle Meals. Listen, spices don't last forever. They've got about a year before they lose all their potency and gorgeous color. It's the essential oils. They evaporate into the air no matter how tightly you screw the top on. There's nothing you can do about it. So what we want to do ideally is buy spices in the right size container relative to how often we use that spice in the cooking that we do. And we want to steer clear from spices that are pre-blended and pre-mixed. They're too specific. We're not going to use them up in the allotted time frame. From this set of spices, I'm going to make three totally different tasting spice blends. That's what I want you to understand. Chicken tikka masala is a very, very popular Indian restaurant dish. It's delicious, it's warming, it's comforting, and at the heart of it, of course, is the spice blend, which we're not buying from a supermarket, but making ourselves. It's gonna be more cost effective and more flavorful. All right, we're starting off with coriander. This is the grounded seeds of cilantro. Cumin, it's warming. We've got some cinnamon here, warming, sweet, comforting. So here's cardamom, it's very bright and pointy. So cinnamon and cardamom, they might seem a little bit obscure, but I think you should buy them because you can make pies, you can make cookies, you can do all these things at the primary source. But with a pre-mixed blend, I'm not making cookies at a chicken tikka masala blend. Uh -uh. Here's turmeric, the famous color in this dish, here it is. Adding some black pepper. Cloves are really pungent. To me, this reminds me of the winter. I'm going with a little bit of actual heat in the form of some red pepper flakes. So here it is. I've got my tikka masala blend. I made it myself. I didn't spend extra dollars by allowing a corporation to make the blend for me. Uh-uh. I know today's all about dried spices, but I'm gonna use some fresh spices too. But I happen to have fresh garlic and fresh ginger. I also really wanna use my new microplane that I got at a garage sale for a dollar. So here we go. Garlic. Let's grate some fresh ginger too. We're gonna put our freshly made spice blend for our chicken tikka masala right into our garlic and ginger. And I've got some chicken thighs here. We're gonna go with a cup of yogurt. It's gonna break it down and make it soft and fantastic. So there we are. I'm gonna pop this into the fridge and let it marinate. Throw some high smoke point oil. I'm gonna do about half the chicken first so that there's some nice spacing and it doesn't all steam. This is gonna get the initial sear on the chicken, some flavor that we're not gonna get during the stewing, braising process. This is also waking up the spice blend that we made with that super high heat oil hitting it. You cannot skip this step, people. Aromas are fantastic. I am getting some brown pieces, as you can see. So this is not fully cooked, obviously. I'm just resting it on a plate here so I can get the next batch of chicken to wake up. We got some color on our chicken. What we're gonna do now is get all this off the bottom of the pan with some onion. Here goes the onion into the hot pan. Let's get the rest of our spices in there, wake those up. Butter. Let's get a little red pepper. Let's get some tomato paste also. Okay, you can see the tomato paste is beginning to brown. Let's throw in the can of tomatoes. Here we go! Drop the tomatoes! It'll never be as big a hit as drop the stock. Here we've got our cilantro stems and all. This is gonna give us brightness. Boom, spoon. And let's get our cream in there and allow that to simmer too. All right, that's boiling. I'm gonna bring it down to a simmer and let it reduce. It's time to add our chicken. Chicken going in. All the steps have been completed. All right, I've got some rice here. It's the ultimate relief to all the intense flavor that we've built. And let's get our classic chicken tikka masala right on top of the rice. Oh my goodness. We got this gorgeous red pink color. We got the white underneath. Why not put some fresh coriander leaves on top? We've got a little bit of cilantro. Cha, cha, cha. I'm taking a bite with my jumbo jet spoon. Oh, mmm, 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 mmm. It's really good. 240 a plate for the ultimate Indian restaurant dish, but this one is made at home and it's even more delicious because we put care into it, because we made our own blend with primary spices. And that's what this is all about, making our own spice blend.
Want to save money in the kitchen? Keep your pantry organized. Here are my tips. There are a million jars, containers, and bins that you can use. You can even make your own organizers. For food storage, make sure your jar seals tightly and keep track of when you opened it. You know, if you keep similar items together, you'll know how much you have, and it also makes it a lot easier to make sure you use the oldest items first. Your pantry's like a Fortune 500 company. You need to do quarterly inventory. That way you know what you've got on hand. When storing spices, you want to keep them airtight. Obviously, they should be within arm's reach when you're cooking, but heat and sunlight can break them down, so avoid having them right next to the stove or near the dishwasher. Keep your most commonly used items like oil, vinegar, salt, and pepper nearby your cooking zone for easy access. Keeping your pantry organized and up to date, that reduces food waste, and that means you're saving money.